One of the main frustrations about the PlayStation Portal is the lack of Bluetooth connectivity. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to connect AirPods alongside some other Bluetooth devices. So I have my XM5, and I'm even going to show you guys how to connect AirPods Max to your PlayStation Portal. You're not going to be able to connect Bluetooth right out the gate. Now, first things first, you are going to need a Bluetooth transmitter. I'm going to throw a link in the description to an Amazon link, T99. Now, I already unboxed it, but I put it back in the box so I can show you guys what is included. So you get the adapter itself and also you get a micro to USB-A, which is unfortunate. I wish it was type C. Of course, you have your 3.5 to 3.5. It connects right. So <laughs> connects like so. And yeah, make sure it is charged. And that is all what's included inside the box. Now you want to take your PlayStation portal, turn it over. And then on the bottom, you see that 3.5 millimeter headphone jack instead of connecting headphones you want to connect this Bluetooth transmitter. Now, when you're connecting it, just make sure you have all your controls facing outwards. So in case if you want to configure it or whatever, you have um, the option to. And I like the fact how it's not going to stick out. So when you're gaming, you're not going to even see this transmitter at all. You're not even going to notice it. And matter of fact, you're not even going to feel it. You're not going to really feel it because your, your controls are here. You want to turn it on. You want to press and hold this button. And I think there's a plastic for this, but don't worry. So you want to turn it on and it's going to be a red light flashing red. That means it's in transmit mode. And you want to take your AirPods, lift up the lid, press and hold the button on the back. Now this is going to work for AirPods one, two, three pro. And I'm going to show you in a little bit, even the AirPods max. So you want to press and hold that button. until you see that white light, let it go. It's going to flash rapidly. And I'm not sure you hear that. The ding. That means it's successfully paired up and now you have a solid red light indicating that it is paired up. So now what this means is you put your AirPods Pro or you put your AirPods on like regular. And now the PlayStation Portal is going to treat this as a headphone jack. But meanwhile, you have your AirPods connected to your PlayStation Portal. It's kind of hard to show you guys if it works or not, but when I plug it in, PlayStation Portal detects the headphones. AirPods Max are a little different. I mean, we all know these are like the most different AirPods out of the lineup. Of course, you want to plug in that transmitter to the 3.5. And it should be flashing. Once you disconnect your AirPods or any Bluetooth device, it's going to automatically put it back into pair mode. And then you should be able to press and hold the AirPods Max. It's my first time doing this, by the way. And then it's going to be white. So you're going to press and hold that, uh, the, um, <laughs> uh, what do you call it? The, the sound control. So the noise canceling and everything, and it's going to be a white light. And I think it automatically detected it. Yeah, it did. So now you see that solid red light and it stopped, uh, flashing or pulsing. I should say pulsing white. So now I can put my AirPods Max on and yeah. Oh yeah. I hear it. And of course I can raise up the volume on my AirPods Max. Yeah, I wish you guys could hear this, man. Hold on. And I'm actually going to pair up a Bluetooth speaker so you guys can hear. This is working. This is fully working. But another thing, too, you got to be careful. You got to make sure your other device is not going to automatically connect. Because as we know, AirPods, they have it where it's automatically going to connect to your iPhone. Um, so make sure you just keep it on your iPhone. Make sure it don't connect. And you may need to pair up the whole thing again in order for it to work. But it pairs up so quickly, you're not even going to think about it. Look, it just paired right up. And now, yeah, I'm back in the game. Now, let's say you don't have all those AirPods or anything, even though you guys click on this video because it's AirPods. Let's say you have regular headphones, regular Bluetooth headphones. So in this case, I have the XM5s. We're just going to power it on. Well, we're going to press and hold it. Should be in pairing mode. Okay, it's in pairing. I just heard the voice prompt. And we actually got to reset this. So I'm going to flip it to receive and flip it back up to transmit. And it should be able to connect it perfectly fine. So what that what receive means, it's basically on the other side of the coin. So you're trying to receive. So both are receiving it's not gonna be able to see each other. This is on transmit and this is on receive. So that's what that is. 
So now, and basically you could tell it works because I have the, the main menu system on and you have the, the Spider-Man. I got noise canceling on. My apologies. I should hop back on the Spider-Man. Yeah, this is working perfectly fine. Now, it's a very ever so slightly delay. Um, I'm actually going to play a little Spider-Man here. I tested this out earlier and it's not an unplayable experience. It's definitely a good amount of damn it you know what i should have played call of duty um but the airpods i think i recommend regular bluetooth headphones just because it's not gonna have any like disconnects so as soon as you take the, the airpods off it automatically connect back to your phone the bluetooth headphones is gonna have a one-to-one -one connection you're not gonna be all over the place yeah there's definitely a delay there's definitely a sound delay but I don't really mind it. I'm gonna connect a regular Bluetooth speaker so you guys can hear the delay and air everything in real time. Thankfully, I got this, the small little Bluetooth speaker from Sony. I forgot the name of this. Um, but I'm gonna throw a link in the description to all these products, AirPods and everything like that. But I'm gonna switch the connection again. We're gonna put it in transmit and then we're gonna power this up. Oh man. All right, I didn't even know how to put it onto pair mode. All right, so now it is paired up. So now, should be able to work. Yeah, I think I turned off all the game volume. Uh, let me raise this up. This is connected to a regular headphone, so make sure you raise up the volume all the way max, and then you can control the volume on your, on your AirPods or whatever you have. So now you have a much louder sound. So... Is it, uh, will that matter to you? Maybe. It's actually not that bad. It's actually not that bad, but it's definitely a delay. That, that's probably the only kind I could think of with this. This is all coming out of the speaker right now. So now you have yourself the real PS5 experience on the go. Bluetooth speaker, the dual sense edge. This is you can't ask for a better setup than this. And then not, not, not to mention, you ready for this? depending on your Wait, connection, you might have some audio artifact. I'm trash. Ah. Oh. I forgot this is YouTube. I can't show no vitality. So yeah, not a bad setup here. This is a nice small speaker. Clip it onto your bag, clip it onto your jeans, whatever you do, and bring yourself the PlayStation Portal and you have yourself the home theater experience anywhere you go in a compact size yeah so this transmitter highly recommend it for the playstation portal and i was gonna make some accessories video uh but you guys know you gotta get yourself a screen protector a case for the portal you guys already know the basics of it but if you guys want to see that video let me know but that pretty much concludes this video i hope you guys find this one helpful if it did i appreciate it with a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions or concerns and other than that, I hope you all have a simple day.